In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the differences between the 2021 and 2022 Model 3 standard range versions. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, my name is Anthony and welcome to my channel where I talk about electric vehicles. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Model 3 and more specifically the 2021 versus the 2022. I picked up my 2021 Model 3 standard range in September of 2021. Funny enough, I took delivery of my 2022 standard range in September of 2022, so exactly a year later. And in this video, I'm covering the tiny, tiny differences between the two different cars. Now, as you guys may know, in 2021, there was a huge update to the Model 3 where they added the wireless phone chargers into the car. They also extended the wood trim to the doors, but these tiny differences definitely led to a much more futuristic experience and better looking experience with the Model 3. That extends into the 2022 model. Interior wise, these cars are identical. There really is no difference in the interior at all from what I can see, not a single difference. If I'm wrong, definitely let me know in the comments below, but these cars seriously look the same. For my 2022 model, I opted to go with the blue color, which looks fantastic. In 2021, I went with the white because it was free and it was my first Tesla, so I just wanted to get in as cheap as possible. Now, when I bought my 2021 Model 3, the price of the car at the time was 39,990. When I bought the 2022 Model 3, the price was 46,990, $7,000 price increase. It's a lot and it does make a difference in the monthly payment. With the price increase, they added some of the more premium features to the standard range model. For example, rear heated seats, as well as a heated steering wheel. I could pay $300 to Tesla in the Tesla app for my 2021 and have these features in the 2021 model, but since I live in a hot climate like Arizona, I never felt the need to do that. Whereas with the new 2022 Model 3 standard range versions, they actually do include the rear heated seats and the heated steering wheel. So that's pretty cool that you get some of the more premium features because you're paying more now for the car. Now, Tesla did raise the prices due to supply issues, but hopefully once those supply issues start to taper off, which it looks like they are, those prices will hopefully drop by how much, I don't know. And Tesla may not be willing to drop the prices all that much because they're selling anyway. People are buying Teslas like crazy right now. And one of the most popular models to buy is the standard range Model 3 because it is the cheapest one and the easiest entry vehicle to get into. I personally love my 2021 Model 3. So the 2022 Model 3 has been really the same. I have noticed the driving experience feels a little bit different. It actually feels a little bit better for some reason in the, in the 2022, but maybe that's just because it's a new car. I'm not sure if there's really a difference in the handling or the way that it drives. They're very, very similar other than the price. I actually could sell my 2021 Model 3 right now and make a profit off of it if I wanted to, but I will be using my 2022 Model 3 for Turo, and I do plan on making videos about that. But really, the point of this video was to tell you that both of these cars are basically identical and there's not much of a change. So if you're currently driving a 2021 Model 3 and you're thinking about ordering a 2022 Model 3 or even a 2023 because we should see those soon now that we're at the end of the year, you probably might not want to because really there's no difference and you're going to pay more. If you bought the car brand new in 2021, you're going to pay a lot more for the same thing really now in 2023. But anyway, guys, that's it. I just wanted to make a video comparing these two cars for you, even though there's not much differences, they are basically the same thing. So yeah, anyway, guys, if this video helped you out at all, or if you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I create new videos and also give this video a thumbs up. That way it ranks higher in the algorithm. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.